Welcome to Tech Brothers Amaru. In this video, we are going to answer this question. Where will you see the pipeline runs and trigger runs? So, so this is a very simple question, but they want to know all the detail, like your familiarity, uh, where you need to take a look, like, okay, your pipeline has been completed successfully, what if there were some errors, and all those kind of details. So, so this is what you're going to tell them. You're going to tell them you're going to go to the Azure Data Factory, and then you're going to go to the Monitor tab. And in the Monitor tab, uh, you have a pipeline runs under the runs tab and then you have trigger runs so if we go to the uh, pipeline runs uh, there uh, you have uh, triggered uh, all those pipelines which were triggered by the trigger so you're gonna see right there then uh, if uh, somebody has been uh, running them manually or debug you're gonna see them under the debug as you can see that uh, I have this pipeline one run multiple time and that's where I can see that now you can tell them like you you will have run ID and the from there if in case uh, you need to contact the Microsoft you can always provide this ID to the Microsoft uh, and they can pull the logs on their end uh, to see the pipeline execution uh, details uh. Now you can go further once you click on the pipeline run and you can see their activities uh, you know and which integration runtime it to uh, use and uh, then uh, all those uh, activity IDs are also there. So here is uh, your pipeline run ID and here is your activity run IDs. Most of the cases in Microsoft, uh, if you open a case, uh, they will be asking you, you will provide pipeline run ID and uh, provide the activity run ID. In my case, I have only one activity that's copy data, so I'm seeing uh, this activity. If I will have more uh, activities in this uh, pipeline, I will see more activities uh, log here. I will see which uh, integration runtime is used, even uh, it is uh, auto resolve or self hosted or whatever other uh, integration runtime I have used for different activities, uh, they will be displayed here. You will see activity type here. You will see run uh, start uh, duration and status. So if there is error, you will see right there uh, and log and uh, some uh, user properties if you have set up. Uh, now uh, let's go back again here in the pipeline runs and uh, there are some filters available. So you can tell them uh, you can see the pipeline runs have succeeded in progress, queued, failed and uh, cancelled. And also you can sort uh, or filter by the pipeline name. Uh, now here if you go back here you are seen uh, you have a uh last 24 hours, last 7 days, last 30 days and then you have customer. Most of the time you're gonna have only last 15 days I believe the data for your uh, execution of pipelines. Even it says last 30 days I don't remember uh, you know if you really would have last 30 days data but maybe you will uh, you know um, so just believe in this let's uh, uh, say that you have different tabs uh, for uh, last uh, 24 hours uh, data ex uh, for different pipeline executions or last 7 days and uh, if you want do custom you can provide the start date and end date and also you can provide the time zone uh, uh, for the filter so this information can be there now you will uh, uh, have a uh, uh, here you have all the list and uh, uh, Gantt uh, chart type of things uh, if you will have uh, more executions um, now it in the trigger runs uh, you want to see which trigger has executed which pipeline uh, and uh, you will see right here under the trigger runs uh, you will see all if you want to see every trigger whatever the trigger type that's going to be scheduled or tumbling window or storage or custom event or if you want to sort it out by you want to see only the triggers which are scheduled and you can see right there and you can see tumbling windows triggers and you can see event storage event and custom events so you can see the trigger name trigger time status pipeline which it is running or has run even type you know subject message and properties and run ID. This is also helpful uh, to provide to the Microsoft in case of the error. Now this is a, um, this was a very simple question but uh, you learn uh, also two concepts from here how to monitor your pipeline runs and how to monitor your uh, trigger runs. Uh, they are all interconnected uh, because if you are running a trigger it means you are triggering a pipeline. Uh, so you're gonna see your pipeline executions and trigger runs here and this will help you further uh, look into different things uh, such as uh, each of the activity runs uh, and uh, you can see if uh, how many records has been extracted or loaded and all that and how much time it took. Uh, so all those details so you have input here, you have output here, and you have detail here. So this is all also helpful, and you can explain this all details in the interview. I hope uh, this uh, video will help. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel, and I will see you guys in next video.